a true story about a set of twin girls, just little girls, who lived out in Omaha and every day after school they would love to go out and play on the playground but something tragic took place and one of the little girls died and, and the other twin just could not stand it. So here they are at the home going service and she reaches in this tiny coffin and she grabs a little sister by the hand and, and daddy said no baby so you can't do that you can't do that she said well daddy all I want to know does heaven have a playground I miss her so much let me tell you the story it was a sad day in Omaha family gathered to say their last goodbye To a sweet little girl, so full of life Wondering why the pretty baby had to die Oh, sister reached up to hold her hand Wouldn't let go, after all, she was her twin Daddy tried to explain You can't hold on God's waiting in heaven For his angel to come home She said Daddy before I let her go I wanna know Does heaven have A playground Oh yes Giant slides And merry-go-rounds Yes Is there a sandbox and golden swings Children laughing at everything Daddy, before I let her go I wanna know Does heaven have a playground? Daddy stood back and scratched his head Was by the question that she had Yes, he did He took a little black Bible in his hand Began to read the words that Jesus said You know what he said? Oh, let the children come to me Forbid them not For the kingdom belongs to these Yes, it does Heaven is a place where she won't have to cry no more She said, Daddy, before I let her go I just need to know Does heaven have a playground?
as touched everyone she came in contact with. So actually loved and to be very honest for the first time trying to learn a song I could not grasp the words properly I just could not learn the song but in your own timing whether you're driving home whenever you're having a down day always remember to, uh, um, to listen to the song Heaven Playground by Shirley Caesar she really loved that song she also loved my song, I'll Give My Heart, that I did when I was 12 years of age. That's the song that actually pulled us together. Because the first time we met, I went to the hospital. 
and she ran for her tablet at one point to come show off to tell me that she has the song on the tablet. And we sang it together on Inspire Jamaica. Thank you to Auntie Curleen as well that made it an actual you know, reality so that the whole world could, could see it. But I'm not much of a talker, so I'm just going to do the song that I know she loved. And I hope that you guys will be blessed by it. Soon we'll be done with the troubles of the world. Troubles of the world. Troubles of the world soon will be done with the troubles of the world going home to live with my Lord. time soon will be done with the troubles of the world troubles of the world Rashida she's done with the troubles of this world yes Lord soon will be done with the trouble of the world she's going home to live with her Lord so I gotta tell you this afternoon no more no more no more weeping and wailing no no more weeping and weeping and weeping and and wailing. No more, no more, Jesus. No more, Lord. No more, Jesus. Weeping and wailing. Yes, going home to live with my. Lord, going home, Gerald. You're going home, Gerald. You're going home, Gerald. You're going home, Gerald. You're going home, baby girl. You're going home, Gerald. You're going home, Gerald. You're going home to live. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah. 
Jesus. No more pain. No more crying, Lord. No more suffering, Jesus. She's going home. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a hallelujah? Before I take my exit, I remember my last visit with her. I think, to be honest, I think I got the best last part of her. Because after I left there, I remember Rashida called saying, boy, she's not quite so responding much, you know, because of a seizure. She had seizure after that. But what taunts my mind, as much as how she has my life and so many other lives it's the pain that she would feel crying out mommy my head my head my head my head you know and I just couldn't fathom I couldn't understand why she had to be going through that much pain but I believe that her work was done and I believe that God was ready for her and so as she was ready I think we all need to position ourselves to be ready also since I don't have much to give you, Lord, I'll give my heart. What can I give to the great I am? I am not a shepherd, so I
got to sing it like you mean it. Yes, Lord, we will give our hearts to Lord. I'll give my one more time, one more time, one more time. Praise Lord, everybody. Um, what can I say? I'm a broken man this afternoon. Um, lost for words, you know. I met Rashida and Jordan through the death of my wife. Similar um, type of sickness. And through my pain, Rashida and Jordan was toe of, to of strength you know and many times I promised that I would come and look for Jordy it's not that I wasn't a man of my word you know Rashida but mainly because I, I, I knew what Jordy was going through because I have lived it with my wife and I remember one Saturday morning I said you know what Today is not going to pass that, you know, I don't take the time to come and look for Jardine. Hopped in my car, drove out the driveway, and I couldn't. Because I didn't want to at least have thoughts of Jardine going through pain. I know the type of person Jardine is. Jardine will bypass all the pain to give someone a smile. And it broke my heart so much that... Um, November, I left the island to go out, you know, to, to, to help others who are going through similar circumstances. Circumstances that um, the family of Rashida is, um, Jordan is going through to give encouragement. But while I was there in Florida, my mind was on Jordan. I kept dialogue with Jody because I knew they were having some form of ben benefit concert. And you know what? I say, you know what? I was going to extend my trip. I say, I'm coming home because I must see Jardine. Had some challenges when I came back, but I pulled out the stop. Remember, Rashida can win. Rashida is a witness to this. Um, I went by UA. And visiting her was, was, um, was like, it ends at 8 o'clock. And I was there too. We were there talking. Up until minutes to ten. I held Jardine's hand, but she was unresponsive. But it gave some form of comfort to me, knowing that I made a trip. And I came here today to give off my talent in in a in a form of, you know, trying to be not so upfront, but I couldn't stay away. And so I am here to tell Jardine that I love you and I know that you are happy where you are. I know without a shadow of a doubt that she is happy. I know what it is like when the pain rocks the body because I've witnessed such an event and I know that she is comfortable. And before I leave, I would like to just sing a verse or two of a song and it goes like this. Cause I'm trying hard not to think you're unkind But Heavenly Father, you know my heart Truly you can read my mind Good people underneath a sea of grief Some get up and walk away But some will find ultimate relief Home free, eventually by the ultimate healing, we will be home free, home free. Oh, I've got a feeling. By the ultimate healing, we will be home free. Down in life corridors, we pray for life. Rashida for her baby, Jermaine for his wife. 
let us continue to worship the Lord, brothers and sisters. Just lift your hands and praise him again. Praise him one more time. Can I get a hallelujah in the house? Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Let me hear you shout another hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. And the word said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. You may be seated, brothers and sisters. A Christian has power to live. Power to labor. Power to love. Power to serve. Power to suffer. And if needs be, power to die. Let us live as people who are prepared to die and die as people who are prepared to live. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart? Then I shall bow in humble adoration and dare proclaim my God. How great thou art. Hallelujah. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Today we are here and we are rejoicing. In spite of death, we are rejoicing in the Lord. Again, I want to recognize the host pastor, Dr. Fisher who has opened the door of this church for us to be here. By now, you would know that we are from the Bombay New Testament church, but it's one blood, one family. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know today that my task is to give a word of hope to the people of God. But you know, when I think of little Geraldine, she was my friend. Yes, and close friend. We watched her from a baby. I was the pastor who christened her. I want you to know that a couple weeks ago, before her death, I went to the university hospital and I baptized her on her sick bed. Yes. Yes, praise God. Today I want you to know that there are several times person go to funeral and they put some people who don't deserve it to heaven. We are not here today pretending. We are here today to tell you about the life of little Geraldine. I want you to know and my word is not to make anybody feel good. It is the truth. You know, even in her sixtieth, when she come to church, she would worship God. And sometimes I believe that she's going to take over the day service and preach the message. And I want to tell you today, we are not here mourning. We are here today to rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I want to, before I bring the word, and Sister Bailey is not here. She's on the outside. A pity. But I want to salute both Sister Bailey and Brother Bailey. I want to salute Sister Bailey. She has left her bed for more than two years and take up resident at the university hospital. That's where she was living. Yes, that's where she was living. And I want to hail her today as a good woman. 
I want to hail her today as a good wife. I want to hail her today as a good mother and a good confidant. And we need more mothers like these. Hallelujah. And I would not leave out Brother Bailey. He was there. Sometimes on weekends, you'd take turns and you'd go up and she come down. Stand up, Brother Bailey. Yes. Turn around, let them see your face. That's how I believe fathers must operate. And fathers today should not just be sperm donors. But they should be good fathers. Amen somebody. Hallelujah. It is time to deliver what the Lord has given to me. To our hearts. I will ask you to turn your Bibles to Ecclesiastes 12. And the verse 1. And it is well known by most of us who are acquainted to the churches. Hallelujah. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the hairs draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. God has promised to add portion of blessings to the reading of his word whenever and wherever they are read. Hallelujah. My theme for us today, it is simple. Remember your God. And I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, remember your God. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, whether you are old or you are young, there is coming a day when you will have a face-to-face -face contact with the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter if you are educated or you are uneducated. It doesn't matter if you are rich or you are poor. But the word of the Lord reminds us today to remember our creator in the days of the youth. We discover brothers and sisters a young girl but she had lived a life that was right in the sight of God. She remember her creator. She talked to her creator and she worship her creator. I want to assure you now as loud as I can speak, Geraldine is not hearing me. So I am quite aware of the fact that I'm not speaking to Geraldine. I'm speaking to those of you who are alive and listening to me now. Remember your God. Hallelujah. Because he's coming one day. I want you to know brothers and sisters while we are living our life we need to draw close to the almighty God. As I address us today, I want you to note the life that little Geraldine has lived. It is, it is a life as a light. Jesus declare, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. I call upon you, my brothers and sisters, to light your candle and shine your light that men in darkness may see. I want you to know if Geraldine had the chance to tell me before she passed away she would ask 
trust me to address this gathering and tell them to prepare to meet your God. That's what she would say. Prepare to meet your God. Oh, brothers and sisters, in spite of what is happening in our society today, the Lord would use the death of Geraldine to brought you here today to tell you to prepare to meet your God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. So it is a reminder that man must know that there is a God. Gun man must know that there is a God. Thief must know that there is a God. Liar must know that there is a God. Hallelujah. Just help your neighbor and say, There is a God. Oh, help the other neighbor and say, There is a God. Hallelujah. I want you to note that men today want to be associated with all type of bad people and gunmen and obia men and homosexual men and lesbian men. But you need to draw nigh unto the Lord your God. <sighs> Hallelujah. Oh glory. As we celebrate today, I want you to note the life that you live should be a perfect life. The life that you live, it should be one that when you reach Jordan, you don't have to cross your Jordan alone. Hallelujah. There are some folks today in our country, Jamaica, they conceal their sins and cover it up. But I say to men and women every year and everywhere, behold your sins. Hallelujah. 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 Can I get a hallelujah in the house? I don't want you to come here today and shut up your mouth. If you have a mouth, give a praise. Hallelujah. Somebody, God has blessed us. Oh, glory. I want you to know in Geraldine 68, she came to church and she was jumping and preaching and exalting the name of Jesus Christ. We are using this I'm going service to give glory to the almighty God. <sighs> oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that some folks, you are here today. Some looking who come into the funeral. But can I tell you something? You know who is here? Jesus is here. 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 Draw near to him and touch him. Oh, man must remember your creator down in Matthew 19 13 and 14 the mothers of Salem they brought their children to Jesus the word said the staunch disciple drove them away but when Jesus discovered what was happening he said no bid them to come and he lays hands on them and he blessed them oh God almighty I want to tell you some more people today need to lay your hands on some children and pray over them and bless them in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Hallelujah. Remember your creator. Oh Lord God Almighty. Oh, I want to say to the people here, we don't know who next. And I don't ask you to ask your neighbor who next. Last week this time I was at my father's funeral service. This week I'm at Geraldine's funeral service. And next week I have two more funeral services to attend. Let me tell you, men are dying. Women are dying. So prepare to meet your maker. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is near. Hallelujah. The coming of Jesus is near. And men must recognize it is high time to remember your God. Look here. So many persons remember their money. Oh Lord God. Some folks can't sleep when they remember the amount of money they have. And they are fretting on it. Well, I stand here today to remind you that your money will go to naught. The only thing that stands is the word of God and a true salvation. Hallelujah. Oh, let me say to you, brothers and sisters, right with God mean right in life. Hallelujah. Life is not given to be wasted. Some people waste your life. Come on. Oh, yeah. I said some people waste their life. Hallelujah. Can I preach here to this? Some people waste their life. When a man get up and start to marry to man, his life is wasted. When a woman get up and start to marry to woman, her life is wasted. When a man get up and start serving the God, their life is wasted. Ooh, yeah. Hallelujah. You let me tell you something. I am no politician. So I'm not looking for I come to preach the word of God. I am a preacher and a gospel preach. I don't preach politics. Hallelujah. You have some people don't want to hear gospel preach. Oh, but I'm going to preach the word of almighty God. Remember your creator. Ooh. Some people lock up in a some something and you need to come out. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor and say, come out. Come out of the something. Come out of it. It is not right. Come out of it. And look unto the Lord. David said, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help. My help. My help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell your neighbor, praise God, man. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise him in the morning. Praise him at noon time. Praise him every time. Oh, Kosata. Ooh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look here. While Geraldine was in the hospital anybody could go and visit her because she never have to confess oh yeah. you have some people them do some wicked things and when they are on deathbed their relatives say no visitors no visitor let me talk to you here today remember your god remember your god remember your god Remember your God. Ooh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. God. The sovereign God. Is not. President Donald Trump. Oh come on somebody. Talk to me. God. Is not. Prime Minister. Andrew Wilness. Oh yeah. God is not Dr. Peter Phillips. God of God. He my God in the morning. He my God in the evening. He my God all the time. Ooh, yeah. Hallelujah. Remember that your God. Remember him. Serve him. Let me tell you this today. Geraldine 
has lived a life that touched every person here today. Hallelujah. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? Life was not given to us to be wasted. So you must live it right. Oh, hallelujah. Why am I not done yet? Miss soon done. No worry yourself. The gospel must be preached. Hallelujah. Whether you want to hear it, yes or no. You must repent those who have not yet repent of your sin. You must know that there is a God that you must call upon him. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man, the wicked man, the man who will kill man. Ooh, yeah. Hallelujah. The man will kill man. Because you have some people that drink blood. You have some people that do some wickedness. But let me talk to you. You must remember your God. Because you can't run away from God. Oh, yeah. Some people believe that you can wrap up the thing and show it under the carpet but there is an unseen eyes if you spread your bed in hell behold I'm there oh touch your neighbor and say you can't hide oh yeah hallelujah everybody touch somebody tell them you can't hide hallelujah sometimes some of we come to funeral and we sit side as us touch people and we can't praise God well let me tell you something I don't join this touch company I will bless God I must serve God I must talk about God because man must recognize Oh, yeah. oh yeah. man must recognize who Jesus is. Oh yeah. hallelujah. Right with God, right with him, his purpose and his him. You can't say you're right with God with just with lip service. You must be right in your heart. Hallelujah. Right with his attitude and his position. Ooh, hallelujah must be able to say like Paul I have fought a good fight I have kept the feet henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge has given to me oh I want to tell you as brother German share a testimony of his daughter before she died that she was at the hospital and she met a lady as she walked around the lady had a sick child and her face was make up and Geraldine said to the lady why you, you, you make up your face like that fix your face She was in sickness. Pain was rocking her. But she could tell somebody, fix your fears. Fix your fears. Oh my God. I want to challenge you today. And I want you to know, it is time for you to fix your life before God. How does one get right with God? Acknowledge and renounce sin. Acknowledge him. Because I want you to know. Some people put on nice clothes. And believe that is salvation. That's not salvation. It is your heart. Hallelujah. 
is thine heart right with God Re and receive Jesus as Savior hallelujah oh coming on home now but I want you to understand that while you are remembering everything you need to put them aside and remember your God the heart the heart must be right the heart must be at the right place hallelujah we are here today and we are sending Geraldine. a matter of fact she reached home a long time Ooh, yeah. hallelujah anybody believe Geraldine in this service I believe if Geraldine is anywhere she's standing on the portals of heaven and she's looking down and she has said, I do better than that. I do worship God. I want to tell friends and family member and well-wisher, if you want to celebrate, you must worship God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God's love is extended to all. Listen this. God's love is extended to all. It doesn't matter the sins you have committed. There is a savior. Come on somebody. You are here today. You need a shoulder to lean on. Hallelujah. Sometimes you lean on your money. And your money vanish away. Sometimes you lean and your friends and your friends gone. But I say to you, remember your creator in the days of your youth. No matter how sinful we are or how often we have rejected Christ, no one must cross Jordan alone. I want this to go down. Yes. No one should cross Jordan alone. Amen. Listen to this. I want you to know when you reach your Jordan somebody should be there. Come on people. Oh, yeah. If there is anyone here today who don't believe that there is a Christ let me tell you Jesus said in St. John 14 I go to be a place for you and if I go I will come again you must remember your God remember your creator because let me tell you something butcher kill hog and cow and all kind of something and there is no coming back but man must come back to stand before their God Some people believe that some people can guard you and protect you. That you nothing can happen to you. Only God can protect you. Ooh, yeah. You're walking around with your tape measure. And walking around with your ring. And walking around with all sort of something. You need God to protect you. Look at me today. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And man must be covered by the blood of Jesus. Ooh. Touch your neighbor and say you must be covered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some years ago, Dr. Fisher, a lady told me in Portland that a man was charging 18,000 to load a ring. Lord God Almighty, we don't want nobody charged with nothing. Oh God Almighty, if you want to be covered, oh just bow before God. Hallelujah. And said, just as I am without one plea, but that my blood was shed for me. Oh, Lamb of God, I come. Oh, yeah. no one must cross Jordan alone. God's grace is offered to all. God rest is offered to all. Jesus said, come unto me. Hallelujah. Before you take your seat, 
wherever you are from, tomorrow morning, find a Holy Ghost church and go there and worship the true and living God. Because let me tell you this, Jesus is coming soon. God bless you. The rest of you who are saved, remain saved and hold to God and changing on. Because guess what? In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, there will be a change. God bless you. Remember your God. Give the wind a mighty voice. Remember. Hallelujah. Remember your God. We want to thank Pastor. And this, we couldn't have, have asked for anything else. Praise the Lord. The program is in two segments. We are going to take the second segment now. Musical tribute from Randall Thomas, uncle. And tribute from Janice Hill, New Testament church of god the precious memories is going down a little it's going back in the tribute it's number four number three so come in that order please musical tribute and then johnny zeal then premier precious memory you we start with the tributes the first is bombay new testament church of god then byways and edges youth for christ ministries then the magnificent true the police academy. The police academy.
just greet everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus has taken a beautiful bud out of the garden of love, born it away to the city of God, home of the angels above. Psalm 121, verse 3 to 5, tells us that children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As ours are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. To the Thomas and Bailey's family, extended family, friends, and well-wishers, Take comfort in the fact that Jardine Bailey has lived a full life. She has served her purpose and she has served it well. The John Hill New Testament, Pastor Reverend Allen, and church family, the John Hill Church where Jardine's grandfather is the deacon there, all the families stand with you this afternoon in your time of difficulty. We want you to know that we have anchored you in our prayers, that the never failing arms of the Almighty God is always outstretched, waiting to provide you with the comfort and peace today, tomorrow, and during the difficult times when you are alone. As you go on from here, be remembered that sometimes God has picked the flower that is still in full bloom. Sometimes we feel the flower that is chosen is picked too soon, but Jordan is not too soon. She has done her full time. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Knowing in God's heaven, heavenly garden, he has placed the one we treasured, and so he has placed Jordan in the heavenly garden. Jordan, you has changed our lives forever. You has touched so many lives. Your memories we will always treasure. Sleep on Jordan. Lay down your head upon your Savior's breast. We love you well, but Jesus loves you best. Good night. Good night. Good night. Your memories we will always treasure. God bless you all. Thank you. We take the tributes. It's Bombay New Testament Church of God, Byways and Edges Youth for Christ Ministries. I'm Kelly. And also Curleen Brown, you know very well. CVM TV, Inspired Jamaica. In that order, please. Then the magnificent troops from the police academy. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. A holy hill of heaven call me to mansions bright across the sea. i 
when he cometh, when he cometh to make up his jewels, all his jewels, precious jewels, his love and his own.
That's a question Geraldine has asked time and time ago, time and time again. Does heaven have a playground? You know, Inspire Jamaica has been talking and reaching out to these children time and time again. So today, with me, we have parents and families and some of our inspirees. And we just want to celebrate her life. You've been in your store. Seems like forever.
Marie Geraldine Bailey. Geraldine Jenna Bailey was many things to many people, directly and indirectly. At only seven years old, she was given a platform through Inspire Jamaica with Anti Curling Brown on CBM TV and by expansion, the Inspire Jamaica Facebook page. And what a journey it has been and still is because from day one, that team visited our home in Manchester. We became a family. Hence, Auntie Curling is standing here beside my husband and I today. We saw our journey capture the hearts of not only Auntie Curling, but the cameraman too. And, <laughs> and after that interview, which we saw them singing, playing, dancing, and laughing. These two professionals walked away to a spot of my yard and cried. Yes, with Bob. <laughs> Overwhelmed by her level of reasoning, her bravery, her calmness, her charm, her knowledge about her condition, and her willingness to share the information she did. And right there and then, she prayed. I am humbled to know that through our little girl, not only were, were lives touched, but lives were saved. Geraldine was true to God's word that a little child shall lead the way. She was fighting a disease while on the battlefield for our God. Demonstrating love, respect, and courage, she was seen at church, she was seen in her happy times, her sad times, and in her good times, meeting people from all walks of life, including the big man Sir Bolt, Jody Ann Pantry, Kevin Downswell, and nurses and admin staff. Let's just say, no, important people, including you. And significantly, other children and their parents who inspired Jamaica. Today, in Geraldine's absence, I ask you to acknowledge and encourage her extraordinary parents as they reflect. As they come on, come on, give it up for them. Thank you. As they reflect on our darling ambassador. When we first told mom, I was pregnant with a girl, and we wanted, we wanted her to choose a name. She messaged us with the name Geraldine. I asked her how she came up with that name. She said, the J-E-R from German. Then she added to my middle name, which is Odin. We loved it and we searched it, only to find out it means holy name. Our Geraldine, born August 15, 2010. Even before she started talking, her means of communicating, the way she walked, and the things she did, had everybody laughing. We knew she was a special person. Our family loved church, and she made it know she loved church too from early. Oh, how she cherished her little tambourine. How could we have known that our little shiny star, who sailed through basic school, was not just another victim of that out of nowhere chick bee, which had so many people walking with stick. That little lump at the back of her calf even tricked the doctors. The disguise didn't phase Geraldine through because she was still full of life. There are many fond memories of our sleeping beauty. Allow me to share just a few. She was such a kind-hearted little girl she would give and give, expecting nothing in return. On one of her good days, I gave her $100 to buy anything she wanted when we got to Mandeville. We were passing a blind man on the road, and, she was, and he was begging money. Jerry took out $50, and she, yeah, sorry, she took out $50 and said she was going to give it to him. I totally agreed, but before she dropped it in the pan, she asked me if, if she gave him the rest of the money and if God would bless us more. I told her yes, and she smiled and gave it all away. 
My husband and I always told her to eat of her sorry to eat of her vegetables, especially carrots. She didn't like the taste, but she ate it of course, not without asking why. Well, I told her carrots would give her good eyesight. One day, I was looking for her school dish and asked her to help after searching down the whole place. Well, Gerald came in the kitchen and there was the dish right in front of me. That child said to me, Mommy, hmm. All right. That child said to me, Mommy, hmm. you know when I eat up as much carrot, go. <laughs> because when you're told you eat up as much carrot, you like your fish in dish right in front of your eye. <laughs> You see, when it came to sports day at school, her dad always told her, Geraldine, just run fast enough and don't wait on nobody. They both train every evening. And can I tell you, on sports day, all that daddy daughter running up and down paid off because she got her certificates to show for all her races which she asked her uncle Ryan to frame. Our journey was something else. Once when she was misbehaving, I simply said to her, Geraldine, if I leave you, you're sick in here. I mean, just as well here, I say to you. I said, Geraldine, if I leave you, you're sick in here. Here, the picnic. Mommy, me too. <laughs> if I lick you, you're sick in here. <laughs> I said, I had to go in the bathroom and pop all up and I came back out. Do not try to tell her that that's not the way I'm doing it. One day, her uncle Neville and his wife Kadian came to visit. Jeremy told them that her daddy's pet name was Shebe. They started making fun of her, calling her Shebe daughter. She only gave out, hmm, I will be telling you for that. <laughs> In her word, she was a genius. Indeed, she was very smart. So one day, I saw Barack Obama on the television. I turned to tell her his name. She gave out, Mommy, you don't have to tell me his name because I know his name already. So I said, what's his name? His name, back up. <laughs> Jeremy was a fun-loving individual. She always spoke so much about her loving her little family and friends. Now, each time her dad returned from work, her first question to him was, Daddy, how will you care to me? Every time her dad would spell L-O-V-E. So one night, when she asked the question, but before her dad could answer, here I know, Daddy, and it better not be L-O-V-E this time. <laughs> thankfully, she, uh, thankfully, he had snacks in his bag for her and her little brother who she spoke about with such passion. She called him her baby boo. Geraldine was a responsible big sister to her three-year-old brother. When they had disagreements, she would reprimand him. If he's being naughty, she would shout out, Rashid, you can listen to your big sister. Rashid would in turn say, and me are the big brother. <laughs> If someone jokingly threatened her brother, you would say, she generally would say, if you mess with my brother, you mess with me. Yes. In May 2015, Geraldine was diagnosed with stage 4 rhabdomyosarcoma, otherwise called muscle cancer. During her time at the University Hospital of the West Indies and the Mandeville Hospital, she met some lovely staff on the pediatric wards. On one of the many days, when we rushed her to the Mandeville Hospital, she was vomiting. It was a frightening experience, and Daddy started to bawl. Jero said, Daddy, why are you crying? Leave it, and God will do it. Immediately, her dad's tears dried up. I remember when she was changing teeth, there was this one tooth that even though it was shaking, refused to come out. So one day, a nurse said to her, Geraldine, you know, drag out the teeth. 
I said to the nurse, nurse, you know, say, me go carry a go dentist, go pay and pull out the teeth. Jeremy's response was, mommy, don't rush nature. <laughs> well, well, nature had its way because she has that tooth up to this day gone home with her to her, make, to her makeup. There was never a dull moment around Jeremy. She loved dressing up. Always have her little bag with her girly stuff. Going to Mandy was a big deal for her. She took time to put on her lip gloss. When hers wasn't enough, she would search for mine. Because I prevented her from using my nail polish, one day she said, you're not allowing me to use the adult colors, so please allow me to use the clear ones as it won't show. My Jero, our Jero was a prayer warrior. She loved to pray, no matter what the situation. She knew right from wrong and even prayed, even if the prayer was of repentance. One Wednesday night, when her daddy went to prayer meeting, I asked her for some water. But then, you know, kids on a, on a woolen and a little bit mumble under the breath. So, just as I asked her for the water, she mumbled, Mommy, you can go get it yourself. I asked her, so what did you just said? Her reply was, nothing, mommy. So for me, I was upset because I knew she had told a lie. I reminded her that persons who lied would go to hell. Jordan started to bawl, not cry. In the midst of the cow bawling, Jordan gave out, mommy, so what me I go do now? I told her, Jero, you better pray. She put on one piece of prayer and listen carefully. Oh God, I come to you as a humble little child. God, I just tell a little lie and me I beg you to forgive me. As a matter of fact, me did tell another lie one long time ago. <laughs> and me don't know if you did forgive me for that one. After such a repentance prayer, that's how she was able to go to sleep because that child bawled for about an hour. Jared knew how to put people in their place when it comes down to God, no matter who. One day at the hospital, a doctor came to examine her. And she said, Doctor, you love God? Geraldine, of course, the, the doctor in turn said, Geraldine, of course I love God. As a matter of fact, Everybody love God. Her response was, Doctor, Satan hate God. And you know she had chewed me a talk. All the doctor did was look at her and smile and then left. When Geraldine had undergone four rounds of radiation, and four persons who, four, actually, sorry, four persons who may not know, when somebody does radiation, no water is supposed to touch the area for an extended period of time. On a particular Friday, we were in a taxi heading home. Down came the rain, and we meant to say the rain start fall. I prayed out loud, hear me now, God, may I beg you to do make when we reach up no rain now fall because no water enough to touch Jero. And after I said that prayer, the car continued driving. The rain came down pouring even harder. I repeated the same prayer, God, may I beg you to do not make no water to fall up a yard because I don't want no water to touch Geraldine. As I said that the child looked at me, Mommy, God hear you already, you know? God hear you already because you're not listen. <laughs> so just as I reached home, hmm, lo and behold, it was joy as cheap. See the picnic look for me, Mommy, me didn't tell you God I go hand say a prayer, so how did I make God look so? <laughs> at one point in time, during an admission, she was singing... German Edwards song. Lord, I thank you for sunshine, thank you for rain, thank you for joy, and I thank you for pain. And honestly, Geraldine was there and she was singing the song. And I said to her, I said, Geraldine, you really thank God for pain. She said, Mommy, yes, me have to thank him for pain, you know, because I know every time things are go as smooth as we want it. 
if you had never sat and chat with Geraldine and experienced personally how she expresses herself, one could think she was being coached. Once when I was at home and German and I was doing parent duties at the hospital, he called to say he met a lady who hugged him up and said, Daddy, thank you for your daughter, thank you for your daughter. She explained how Geraldine came to the ward veranda when she was sitting and said, Miss, me realize your son's sick, but what happened to him? The lady looked at her and said to her, my son is very sick because his two kidneys are bad. The lady said, Geraldine, stop and look on her and said, then Miss, so tell me something. And that's why your face looks so. When the lady looked at her, she was like, fix your face. Because look for me. Doctor say a stage for a cancer me have. And me had the chemotherapy. I look for me my face and look for you. The lady was amazed. No, not a six-year-old at that time would have touched her life. Jerry was always in the hospital. On Ward 16 at UWE was her place. Whenever she come home, she looked forward to going to church. If she can't go, she would cry. After a four-month stint, she got so frustrated and really wanted to go home. One Friday evening, <laughs> hi, Dr. O. <laughs> One Friday evening, we were at the hospital. So um, the consultant, which is Dr. Ho, he was having a ward round with the resident doctors, the student doctors, and the interns. So Dr. Swaby was there, and Geraldine looked at Dr. Swaby. So Geraldine was like, Dr. Swaby, when can I go home? Dr. Swaby was like, Geraldine, I can't tell you when you can, when you can go home, you know, but Dr. Ho is right here. Mind you, Dr. Ho was right at the bedside. So Dr. Swaby turned to her and said, Geraldine, I can't tell you when you're going home, but Dr. O is right here, and he will be, be, he'll, he'll be the best one to tell you when you're going home. Jordan looked at Dr. Swaby. Dr. Swaby, I'm not going to ask Dr. O when I'm going home, because Dr. O can't tell me when I'm going home, and he is the head. <laughs> Honestly, I'm happy Jordan said that because she got the chance to go home for the weekend. <laughs> In November 2016, she had been admitted until the latter part of February. Before she got discharged, we were downtown rushing to the bus stop. I remember this plain as day. Just before she reached the terminus, Geraldine slowed down and started dragging her feet. And while looking up to the sky, she uttered, Lord, thank you for letting me get discharged. Lord, Thank you for sending me home to my family. God, you are the best, yeah, man. <laughs> December 2017 was our first Christmas together as a family. We needed to make sure she and her brother had a lot of fun, so we took them to Grand Market. She wanted an Elsa and Anna doll, which she got. It was so heartbreaking because she only got, she only got to play with them once. She started feeling pain and she asked me, Mommy, you think God still remember me? I asked her, I said to her, why would you say that? She said, Mommy, cause look on all the pain when me I got you. I assured her that yes, God still remembered her. The following night, she said, Mommy, you see when daylight, me want you to encourage me. Cause Mommy, it looked like me I lose hope of everything. Of course, I was wondering what was I going to tell her that I hadn't told her before. During our that night, I just opened the Bible. And believe me, friends and family, the scripture presents itself, Joshua 1. Have I not commanded thee to be strong and of good courage? Lo, I am with you whether thou goest. Those were the words I needed at that time. Which brings me to the night she was listening to Glacia Robinson's testimony, The Curse of Death. The cancer had started to affect her spine, reducing her bladder movement, so she wore a catheter and diaper, which she hated. This lasted for almost a year, 
But that night, she got delivered, and thank God, she lived to share that testimony. Of course, we have never stopped listening to the curse of death. She wasn't an ordinary seven I heard my baby cry for an entire night. Mommy, help me, man, help me. Do something, man, do something. We looked on her helplessly. Pain ointment didn't help. That morning, in well, actually, up and you know, say her prayers. I say morning, mommy, morning, daddy. But after what she went through that night, and I mean that pretty ball the night, cause she had some severe pain. When she woke up that morning, only thing that came to came to her mouth was, "You've been in the storm." And you finish your rest. What a my daughter knew what it was to have. Just give her the microphone at church. She would tell the congregation, shout hallelujah. And after letting out what was on her heart, she always ended praying for everyone. Not a word about herself. One person she relied on for prayers was her grandmother, my mother. She loved her grandpa, but she and grandma used to storm heaven. And you know, she always saw other children storms. Last year on her sick bed in hospital, with a pounding headache, Geraldine suddenly became unresponsive. Because that's an experience I wouldn't want anyone to go through. Those doctors and nurses did everything to bring her back. Thankfully they did. A few days after, she said, Daddy, if it wasn't for Jesus, me no know what would have happened to me. And as a matter of fact, me would even want no one either. She actually explained that something unusual had happened to her because she felt like someone had put her on a stretcher, her limbs were out of place, and her blood was gushing out. She said she heard the doctors, but she just couldn't talk. She said they were confused, asking what they were going to do to replace all this blood. We later learned that was an out-of-the-body experience. A few days after that, Geraldine insisted and asked the mother of a little girl who was in the bed across from her if she could pray for that patient. Well, Geraldine used the olive oil, anointed herself, and went to the little girl's bedside and prayed for her, telling God, God, you did it for me, and I know that you can do it for her. She then told the mother, your child will be healed in Jesus' name. I remember her telling her that if she had money, she would help the mentally ill people on the streets and get them a home and food to eat. That's how thoughtful and caring she was. In April 2017, Jera was on another break from hospital and we were getting ready for church. Only say, mommy and daddy, May have something for you, you know, so, but each time she would say she has something for you, so me start fret because I don't know what she has to ask, so I don't know what the answer is going to be. But that morning when she said that, we asked her what was the situation, only to hear her say, I will not wait for so long for give me my water baptism. I asked her if she knew what that meant. Geraldine said, it means you are saved and you start following after God's footsteps. You don't tell lies, and you don't disobey. Well, we ensured she got her wish, even though she had to be readmitted. Geraldine loved Jesus Christ, and she knew the significance of being born again. Our pastor was instructed by our bishop how to proceed at her hospital bed. We honored God, trust me. Many persons blessed our daughters financially, and otherwise, Mr. Lou and the Angels of Love, the Radiation, the Optimist Club of Mandeville, the Belfield High School, viewers who, had ju who just turned up at the hospital or sent something by way of Western Union or the bank. Our cell phone was a little phone company. The little notes, birthday party for her big seven, so many messages on Facebook I can't even begin to read them, but I will one day. Your kindness 
was not, sorry, your kindness has not gone unnoticed. Dr. Reese Mills was very special to her. Geraldine always played what was said to her and even mimicked some persons. You made her comfortable and helped my family to make her happy. To our relatives, she loved Uno. Thanks for everything. I love you too. My husband and I, we all love you. Unfortunately, yes, sorry, th yes, here, sorry. Thanks also to our church family. Unfortunately, on February 3rd, when I noticed her breathing pattern had changed, and the doctors wanted me out while they tried to revive her, I stood there as I had promised, because in December, she asked me and her dad, Mommy and Daddy, when you promised to be with me to the end, so I said to her, Geraldine, what do you call the end? Jokingly, only to hear is a chubby man, who already know me I talk about. So here we stood there as I as we promised. Little did I know that when Geraldine had asked if Daddy and I would be with her to the end in December, her earthly moments were near. Doctors tried again, but Jesus took but Jesus took over when the team could do and called the time. She looked like our sleeping beauty. My brother and his wife and Auntie Caroline and I hugged, prayed and cried. We waited until her daddy got to the hospital and if shaking, if shaking could bring her back, it would, but it couldn't. So we let our baby go So we let our baby go, go to enjoy that playground prepared for her. That is why we say, let's continue to inspire Jamaica.
name is Myrtle, Myrtle in Johnson. I'm here because of Jerry Dean. Well, actually, I know her from the hospital and I met her mom. And trust me, I couldn't have gone anywhere but being here. You know, so I said, God is wonderful, he's good, he's great. And I know that she's gone, you know, she's gone where the great Christ is. Most persons don't even know that Jerry Dean does not complete, um, you know, like pr primary school, stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's true. I was actually one of her teachers. I taught her when she was at basic school. She was the, I was the last person she went through before she graduated. It was, it's really sad to see her go like that. I remember my days with Geraldine while she was in Mandeville Hospital. I remember going to school in the day, go to work, then go to college in the evening. I will go home, put on my things, and then go back up and get the tablet and go to Mandeville Hospital. While I'm at the hospital, I kind of release her mom so her mom could go home and spend some time, get some rest. And I would stay with Geraldine until Geraldine fell asleep. I remember one night I actually left the hospital about 12 o'clock because Geraldine was in pain and she didn't want to sleep and I was there, didn't know what to do. And I was just trying to say, God, where must I go from here? What must I do? How can I help her? So every night I would go home, load up my tablet with new stuff for her and take it back the next day for her to release it. So that sacrifice, that's sacrifice. I'm saying that sacrifice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What's the message to, to children? And I mean, because you know, death is so scary for everyone well it's hard right now to leave a message for children but i want to say to the children across jamaica who are watching inspire jamaica who are watching it is really sad that jerry went on like that but this is a part of that that we have to go through i just remember the little one beside me right here every time she always said why god take them so young and take some so old and i said to her say, it's just the time we have to live on earth we just have to make sure we live a correct life and make sure we live one that is pleasing to god it's with mixed feelings. It's sad and it's happy. It's mixed feelings. But we are happy that we are here today because we are here as a family. And God has been good to us. And this is to show the unity of especially Inspire Jamaica inspirees. We are happy that we were here to even celebrate with the parents. So some persons don't know that we have survivors because we do have your daughter who is now how old again? She's 11 years of age. Uh, she had spent three and a half years there with acute limbostic leukemia. And to God be the glory, today I am very happy because she's a miracle. And when I look at it, it's that inspired Jamaica, even inspired her to, you know, give her more life everlasting. Can you imagine that? We saw so many children around. And we know some of them don't understand. Yeah. Some do. Um, well, well, I did not tell Christoph that little girl had died, but when he came into the church, he looked at her picture and said, where is she? Well, I told her that I will show him in a while. I will tell him in a while. And he kept asking, mommy, I don't see her. Where is she? But then a while ago, when we were standing by the casket, he peeped and he said, mommy. And I said, I said, baby, she's dead. And he said, dead? And I said yes, and then he didn't ask me again, so I don't know if he understood, but I am going to be listing out, just in case, because it will come back to him and he will ask me again, you know, and then I'll get to explain it to him. Well, Christopher, as usual, dancing up a storm, he's an inspiry and a survivor. Yes, he is, he is, and I'm just grateful to God. He's doing very well, extremely well. Let's continue to inspire Jamaica.
just want to bring your attention to the 23rd Psalm, which tell us that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I want us to assure ourselves and give ourselves that hope that the Lord will take care of us. And I want you to know, even in death, death is not a destroyer to the Christian. When you die as a child of God, you're gone home to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is a great hope. We might be here today and say this child died because of sickness and all of that. But today, she's rejoicing with the Lord 
Jesus Christ. And I want to assure you that all of us who are here, we need to do one thing, is to make sure that our life is in tune with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So let us not live as those and mourn who have no hope. Our hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Bow your heads with me, please. Most righteous and eternal Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you this hour. Lord, we want to thank you for your love and your mercies. Lord, we want to thank you for Jesus Christ, who you have sent to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, as we come this moment, I pray that persons will acknowledge you as their Lord and their Savior. Father, we thank you for today's proceedings. Lord, we thank you. You have held back the rain and you allow us to have a fear day. Oh, yeah. I pray that your blessings, Lord, will overtake us now. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. For as much as it pleased Almighty God, in his wise providence, to take out of this world the soul of our sister, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to hurt, ash to ash, dust to dust, looking for the resurrection at the last day and of the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose coming to judge the world and the earth and the sea shall give up their dead bodies and the bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and be made like his glorious body according to that power by which he is able to subdue all things unto himself. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the sun Worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you have that hope that when the roll is called up yonder, you will be there, shout a hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to sing this one Jesus loves the little children. Jesus loves the little children. Children, 
Amen. Amen. Let us worship the Lord again. Praise the Lord. It is joy to know that Jesus loves us all. Yes. Yes. Whether you are black or white, polka dot, it doesn't matter. Jesus loves every one of us. That's right. And I want you to live with that assurance that if nobody around you loves you, Jesus loves you. And you can boast about that, that Jesus loves you. When people down the road hate you, Jesus loves you. Because guess what? Jesus showed his love for Geraldine. Guess what? In spite of the sickness, God used her to touch somebody. And when it was pleasing to God, is he take her home. What a joy. Yes. Hallelujah. We are going to sing, Jesus love me, this, this I, I know. know. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh yes, yes, Jesus. Oh yes, yes, Jesus loves me. Oh yes, yes, Jesus. I know she will. You love me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little one. Brothers and sisters, I want to just take a minute or two to say this to you, that Geraldine is home with the Lord. That's right. And you know, we gathered here and we journey from Mandeville to be here and other parts of the country to be here. But I want you to know the chance is given to you to make it right with God. That's right. Yes, the chance is given to you right now. If you are not saved, there is a savior. And guess what? I watch people, young and old, and I want you to know, it is just that Geraldine is before some of us, or a matter of fact, she's just before all of us. Our day is coming. Yes, your day is coming, and my day is coming. So I am asking you, in the name of Jesus Christ, surrender your heart to the Lord before it is too late. 
Amen. 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 Praise God. We are going to sing the last song on the program chorus. Jesus on the telephone. Yes, Supposed and you're going to, to call him up. Call him up. Ready, Mr. Music? Jesus on the telephone. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. Jesus on the telephone. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need right now. Someone silver, someone gold. I want Jesus in my soul. Jesus on the telephone, tell him what you need. Tell him what you need right now. Tell him what you need right now. Yeah, man, what did you do? Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need right now. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need right now. Hallelujah. Come on, shout a hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah is the highest praise oh, yeah. and we are giving it to the Lord today. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are going to sing one more chorus, one of your choice. Who said are you leaning on? Dirty. Who said are you leaning on? Who said are you leaning on? Somebody yes. I said. Yes. 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 Whose side are you leaning on? Leaning on the Lord's side. Whose side are you leaning on? Leaning on the Lord's side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean. Leaning on the Lord's side. I lean, I lean, I lean, I lean. Leaning on the Lord's side. Whose side are you leaning on? Praying on the Lord's side.
Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne, the only wise God, to him be glory, dominion, and power, both now and in Jesus' God. Amen. Amen. The Lord be you richly. I believe the children are a future. Children well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess in style. Give them the sense of pride to make it easier. Let us children
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is yeah. the picture? We can do that now. No, no, no. We can do that now. Take some pictures. No, no, no. You don't have to worry. She said something that needs to be captured. Just tell what you, you said something to me. Right. So, just like you talked to me today, just tell me your name and what you just said. That's perfect. Tell me when you're ready. Yes. You're ready. Hi, right. 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 my name is Beckford and I'm from St. Thomas. I thanked Auntie Caroline for, for highlighting Geraldine to, to me, I should say. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have met this amazing little girl. She has touched my life in such a way that it's... There's no words to say how this little child has captured my life. She has really transformed and made me want to be a better adult. So for that, I want to thank Inspire Jamaica and Auntie Caroline. Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to say thanks a whole lot for you know, the outpour at the funeral of our daughter Geraldine Bailey. We really appreciate it and all the messages that were sent. Honestly, we haven't even got the chance to read all of them, but someday we definitely will. And we want to say thanks especially to Auntie Caroline Brown. She has been a tower of strength to us. And also, Shauna Fong Yi. I remember when Geraldine, when um, she met Geraldine, and Geraldine said to her, What is your name? So Shauna said to her, oh, oh, my name is Shauna Fong Yi. Jody was like, hmm, Shauna Fong Yi? It's okay, I'll go with the Shauna. <laughs> right, so we want to say thanks again, all right? Blessings, Billy. God bless you all. Blessings. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got it down? You got it? Hi, my name's Lorraine. I'm Lunette's cousin from England. Just want to say I feel so blessed and honoured to have to be here today. I came all the way. When I heard that she passed, there was no way I was going to not be here to come and help and support my family. So I just want to say Geraldine was an exceptional, amazing angel. and. She really touched everybody she came into contact with and everyone is a better person for knowing and being around her. So I just want to say to my cousin, Lunette and to Jermaine, be strong, you know I'm here for you. I'm just a WhatsApp message away or a telephone call away. So take care, thinking of you always. Thanks. Lovely lady. No? Don't, don't stop doing what you're doing. Yeah, please. <laughs> stop. Listen, I've got the whole of King's <laughs> College Hospital, NHS Trust. Black <laughs> watch, everybody Even watching. before your father had a family, yeah. I was watching you. Brilliant. Yeah, I tell you, she touched so many people. Yes. It's like, just heaven to have a playground Oh yes Giant slides and merry-go-rounds Yes Is there a sandbox and golden swings Children laughing at everything before I let her go, I want to know, does heaven have 